God. I've been out here for about 20 minutes just trying to stop running it. Ooh, it doesn't even backfire. Awesome. But, uh, see you soon, guys. Let me put the deck on it. My yard's a mesh. You can see the mud. Oh, well. It happens. Bye, guys. <laughs> see it now. Get the hell off that garage and get to work. <laughs> All right, it's just a little bit. My mother's okay. She let me in here, I think. But enjoy this voiceover, guys. That was kind of funny. I should have made you do that. Should I do here guys to actually do something maybe change the oils I'm going to take this thing out but it's kind of wet out guys so we'll see what can happen hi guys bleach you're welcome to another video this is probably one of the most exciting videos that has happened in a while it was a balmy 65 degrees today so I figure I work on this thing. It was really hot in that sweatshirt and stuff. I did get a new belt, as you can see, and it's as tight as it goes. And since we don't, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. I don't know. My, uh, I don't want to say anything too bad. It is not in the mood. I may joke a bit with you guys. We'll just have to wait and see. There is an infamous weed whacker twine uh, coming out of that drawer. And this is how it goes. I pull it off and it breaks right off. I was just dumbfounded by the whole thing and just couldn't freaking believe it. And I couldn't figure out how to um get that off there. I I, I want to send a shout out to Walmart for, for selling me those uh, pants and those underwears. Faded glory and stuff. I mean... And it looks to be that I have no ass. I don't know if, if I ever had an ass or I have an ass. And there's half my ass right now, as I stated before in the last videos. I just love that Craftsman Toolbox, guys. It is a lot of fun. Uh, yes, that's the brownie pan there. It's an old uh, brownie pan or maybe a cake pan. We got uh, new ones. So I figured out why not use it for oil since we... Don't know where any oil pans are at the moment. I'm going to clean that garage in the spring when everything warms up. And make it tip top. Is that even a thing anymore? People say in tip top shape. Shows my age. I think it's going to come out of there. Not my underwear, but the oil guys. Let's see here. I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to figure out like, if there's going to be a wrench on there or something. Yeah, there's doggy hair in there. My mother was going to throw those out. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm going to use them for uh, oil pans. But uh, we were just joking a bit in the beginning of the video. So wouldn't it be funny if you just... She was outside doing some work. So wouldn't it be funny if you just yelled and said, get the hell out of that garage. And she went with it. Uh, that's my good weed whacker twine. It is trapped in the back of the drawer. That's why the drawer won't shut. So, it's, it's always good to put things in the drawer. Then they get fall in behind in there or something. As you can tell, the craftsman tag is off the toolbox. Should I even tell you how that happened? It wasn't having a good day. It was too much day for me, and I got frustrated and took a huge wrench and smashed the side of the toolbox. 
Luckily, it was the toolbox about the mower, and the tag just fell right off, sadly. So now it's a Harbor Freight toolbox. But that is a craftsman. That's my favorite toolbox. I oh. Yeah, we're dumping a little gasoline in there to clean it out as the oil might be a little uh, goopy. I don't know if I caught it on camera. I don't think I did. It would have been awesome if I did. When I came back from the, the, the fresh gas from the store, I poured a little in there. And then I cranked it over with my jump pack. And it squirted all over my boot. I wish I got that on tape. I don't think I did tape. Tape video. I'm still stuck in the age of VCRs, guys. Remember those things? Please be kind and rewind. Getting them from the rental store. Going to Blockbuster. And go, be watching movies with friends and stuff. I miss the 90s. I wish I could go back really, guys. They say time travel could be possible. There's videos about time travelers and stuff on YouTube. I, I watched some interesting stuff before bed. One thing I will say, that show of the passage on uh, Fox is really good. It's really good. They finished it up. And I also watched I Am the Night about the Black Dahlia uh, murder and stuff. There's all sorts of good stuff to watch. There's, there's not enough time and too many good shows to watch. And I'd rather be doing this out in the garage because this is my exercise. Yeah, there's stuff falling on that gas tank. I thought it was the old uh, grommet plug for the uh, gas hose, but you'll see what it is in a minute. What was that from? That could have instructed the gas from working in my other, uh, the other snapper comet. I think I'll be mowing for this one. Now it's together if it works out. Because the other stamper comments much <sighs> older and I don't really want to use it that much unless I have to because it's kind of a rare model. You don't see it too much. I'm trying to shake it out of there and that little there's more rubber in there, I can feel it. Just give it a good shake. Shake it off, shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, 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 was it a Taylor Swift song? I love her. I think it's out of there. Awesome. I just realized it was the nice rubber piece that they thought would be awesome. Just awesome to put on there for a seal. You don't really need that because those gas caps are supposed to be vented unless you're leaving it outside. I mean, uh, yeah, you can sell that belt. It's too big for me. It's the only belt I could find that would fit. Uh, that's Walmart for you. They got one belt too small, one belt too big. I think my pants do that because my broken tailbone. I'm not really sure. Just don't pay much attention to the, the underwear where the, that's hanging out of there. So worry what I'm doing. I'm trying to crank it over to get the oil to, to get out of there and the gas. When I did start this thing up, I should have it starts easy now and the battery does hold the charge thankfully well, at least i think it does as i push the button and it start wanting to start again i'm just trying to crank it over here to, to get the oil out of there that jump pack i got off ebay thought that didn't work actually works it's awesome i gotta look at that uh wiring harness that snapper and copy it. i'm gonna copy it for all those snappers and just do push button switches I ordered a push button switch um, for the uh, 33 inch snapper. I'm going to push button it and make a custom uh, plate like with a uh, sheet metal. I don't know how I would do that. I would have to get like a piece or something. Maybe I could do it with plastic. Hey, you guys have any suggestions what I could do? Because I don't have long enough wire to do it from where the key switch would go. There's got to be something I could do. You know what I mean? I think I'm just taking a piece of sheet metal and just bending it over or something. You know, looking at that toolbox. 
something like that would work. I'm not going to cut up that toolbox. You know what I mean? It's like bend something like that. My neighbor might have something over there, like a piece of something. Uh, I can make something with. I'll figure something out, guys. I, I know I had another one of those plates. I don't know. I'll have to, I have to learn how to custom make stuff sometime. As you can tell, we're cleaning up our mess. Little oil was in a puddle out there, and I used quick stop to get it out of there. On the rubber band, I think it'll evaporate. Trevor Nolan on uh, Comedy Central, uh, I don't know if I should say, he's interviewing a transgender uh, person. I find nothing wrong with that. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I, I've known all kinds of people in my life, and, I, and uh, I'm not going to judge. It's not my pl place to judge another person based on how they think or feel. I'm not God. Why should I judge him? I may consider myself a demigod, half angel, half devil sometimes, but that's just being silly, of course, but kind of how I feel sometimes, but I'm not going to judge people. It's it's not right. But, uh, yeah, let's pour in that milk bottle, then we can take it to a place, and maybe a garage can use it to heat their garage or something, or, uh, Maybe uh, do an arson to their garage for insurance purposes. Kidding. That's why bleachy poo don't use a blowtorch too much. But I probably will have eventually have to use one because uh, I mean I'm good with the grill. I'm safe with that grill. You know that oil leaked on the floor that just worries me with the blowtorch. I'm just trying to show what kind of oil I use. 10 W30 Quaker State. It's the next step up from uh, Walmart oil. It's only two dollars more. I don't want to use Walmart oil really. My mowers, although I think Sicko or something makes it, makes it. It's still good oil. This oil is a little bit thicker. You can see how good it goes in there. See how good looking the oil looks. Looks nice. And I know I should be using my measuring cup I have, but some reason the measuring cup got painted yellow and then uh, it broke it's cracked and uh i found an old measuring cup in the garage for uh like cooking and stuff but i just guessed the mean how much oil went in there and oddly enough i didn't overfill it and it's at the fill mark so i must be good at this yeah those pants are really baggy as you can tell i love baggy pants maybe i do have an ass in there somewhere i was really goofy the last time i uh made the voiceover i was a little uh excited and i was uh, overtired and stuff and it's told a lot of jokes and went with it i was trying to crank it over there by hand trying to um to uh get the oil out of there are trying to the, actually what I'm doing is the oil is in it I'm trying to move it by hand to get the oil circulating in there because I really scared I'm gonna seize it up because that's a really good engine uh, what I was saying I get really giddy sometimes I feel like telling jokes I just don't know when to quit and there's other times I want to be serious and I just want this video to be more normal I mean I'm saying ass of course but uh, people are going to watch this. This is going to be archived when I got this thing going. I just want to say weird things like, uh, you know what I mean. That duck. I'm showing you how much oil I got on. You can see the stick, can't you guys? That duck over there. The bearings coming out of it. It's now part since I pulled the parts off of it to fix the stamper comet. That's just an extra duck. I had a gobbin around for my first stamper. The bearings coming out of it to fix the uh, the uh, 28 inch snapper. Actually, it might be a 33 inch deck. I don't know. It's a pretty big deck. That deck that I broke the bearing out of. That bearing's coming out of there and going in that one. I'm going to cut it up with my grinder. And uh, this replace it. Get new bolts and stuff and rebuild the deck. I got to brush up on uh, Jim Jackson's. Uh, Jim Jackson's. Uh, what do you call it? 
videos on how to do the deck. I hope I can find it. He's kind of fun. He's like, oh, I'm not going to do snapper videos anymore for a while. And going back to woodworking. And all of a sudden, there's stuff about paint and parts and stuff. He loves those snappers. He's probably the most guy that's the best at working on this stuff. Jim Jackson. And I just kind of do this like as a comedy. It's like as a work. You know what I mean? Like a play action role playing kind of like perv or something they call it. I, 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 it was kind of noisy in the background. I already had one of his friends out. He was talking, and um, and this didn't want stuff going out talking. And then there was this huge truck making noise and stuff. Big loud muffler, big loud exhaust. I love that truck. It's the neighbor's truck. That muffler's loud. There we go. Alright guys, let's put the voice hour stops and we'll drive this mower soon. Uh, don't she sound good now? She's not skipping now because we uh, put clean gas in it, guys.
Who's a good snapper? Who's a good snapper? That's a good little snapper. Who's a good snapper? Oh, snapper, snapper. All right. Bye, guys.